because it seems to me that they will take somebody's word and just run with it as it's completely true when there's no um, follow through to find out if it's true or not. So they just take person A's word as fact. How is that possible? Why is that allowed? I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah, from from Facebook, a question. Um, the burden of proof in 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 your dependency case, in your you know your first try, the first module, module one, module two. What can you explain the difference and why it is different versus a case like a regular murder case or um, you know any other case? Because it seems to me that they will take somebody's word. And just run with it as it's completely true when there's no um, follow through to find out if it's true or not. So they just take person A's word as fact. How is that possible? Why is that allowed? Okay. So you're mixing some apples and oranges uh, from a legal analysis point of view. Um, <laughs> burden of proof is what has to be proven by someone in order to win a case. Right. Now, now, there are three burdens of proof in California. Um, there's the beyond a reasonable doubt, which is used in criminal cases. And I usually say, just as an example, that's like 95%. Then the next is the clear and convincing evidence. Um, and that's 75%. And mm -hmm. then there's preponderance of an evidence preponderance of evidence, and that is more than 50%. Now, notice I didn't say 51%. It's more than 50%. All right, right. so it could be 50.1%. So those are the three levels of burden of proof. Now, sometimes, you know, you might get the impression that there's no distinction between them. But there is. There is a, d a distinction. And in the attorney's minds and in the judge's minds, um, that's something that has to be considered. When you do a jury trial, there's part of a, you know, part of a, you know, the opening or closing or the jury instructions where these things are actually read and explained to, to the jurors so that they can know, mm -hmm. you know, what the burden of proof is and what it means. So um, I give you an example. I tell this to a lot of people. O.J. Simpson was um, uh, prosecuted for killing Nicole, but mm -hmm. the jury didn't find beyond a reasonable doubt that he did it, so he wasn't convicted criminally. But then they walked across the street and they sued him for money for killing you know, Nicole Brown, and mm -hmm. they won. And the reason why they won that was because it was at a lower standard. It was preponderance of evidence. Okay. Okay, so you see the difference between the two burdens, right? Right. So my next question is why wouldn't the, that this distinction be just as high when you're removing someone's child from them? That is a very good question because I've had a lot of people tell me, especially guys in jail, I'd rather, I'd rather keep my kids or keep my kids with the family, um, and that's far more important than me going to jail. But that's mm -hmm. not the law. The law is, if you want to take someone's children away, um, it's clear and convincing evidence and preponderance of evidence, you know, depending on what module you're in and what right. you are in that module. So if you change the law, well, what if I because been you would think taking what someone's I, child away, what if, it would be it would be a shame, right? In my mind, it is. They would have to prove it. Yeah, they in would have to mind, prove that this is happening. Right. Yeah. You know, it, you know, in a perfect world, you know, and economics is always a consideration, right? If you're going to take mm -hmm. somebody's child away, it should be a higher burden of proof, and they should have a right to have a jury trial. 
Right. If you're going to put right. them in jail for a year, they get to have a jury trial. How about if they're going to lose their yeah. child forever? You know, yeah. there are a few states in this country that allow you to have the right to have a jury trial. Did you know that? California's not one of them. No, I didn't. Yeah, California's no, not one California of them. Was California one of them? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason I've heard is because it's so expensive to have a jury trial, so time-consuming. You know, what are there, 10 to 12 million people in, in, you know, in L.A. County? And, you know, mm -hmm. you have hundreds if not thousands of cases every month. What if somebody said, hey, I want a jury trial? Well, that's not going to be, Well, you if know, you're going to take their kid, then they should be allowed well, to. Well, th that's just your opinion. That's now, true. Now, now, how are you going to make your opinion the law? Um, right, the legislation, go, you know, you, you contact you, your local representative. And vote. Get, right, get both. your friends and relatives and, you know, people in your community to I vote. I don't think people understand how important voting is just on the local level. Forget about the presidential elections, but your local level your voting is so important. That's where everything happens. You know, uh, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You know, when I, uh, and this is what I envisioned for our group, you know, when I was growing up, um, Right, and I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, you know, uh, predominantly African American community at that time. Um, and what happened was, right before elections, uh, my grandparents would get mailers, you know, little giant postcard or giant postcards, and it told you on the front and back who to vote for. You know, who the black leaders were going to be voting for and who they wanted you to be voting right. for. So all you had to do when you go to vote, you didn't have to know anything. You know, have to know anything about the candidate, about the proposition, about the law. Just, you know, oh, Tom Bradley says vote for this guy. Tom Bradley says vote for this gal. Tom Bradley says vote yes on this proposition. And that's what mm -hmm. people did. Now, I don't know if they still right. have those type of mailers or if they're even legal. I, I can imagine they were very expensive, you know, but it was basically you don't have to you don't have to educate yourself on anything. And, you know, we're just going to tell you how to vote. Imagine right. how powerful that was. You know, I mentioned the word Tom Bradley, I mean, but he was like, you know, a very famous African-American politician. Um He's deceased now, but he was like a police officer, and then he was the councilman in the city of Los Angeles, and he was, I think, the first, you know, you know African American mayor in, uh, you know, in Los Angeles. But you know, mm -hmm. very powerful, you know, in terms of so, in terms of controlling that segment of society and their vote. Imagine if okay. you could get these parents together and these relatives together and tell them or suggest to them how to vote. Right. It would be, it would oh, be, right. It would be a different world in the CPS yeah. arena. Because, so, you know, you could, you could change the laws, you could make the burdens of proof higher, you could give people the right to have a jury trial. You know, mm -hmm. when you have a jury trial, generally, the jurors make the decision, not the judge. Right? Right, right. And, you know, there's more likelihood of you getting parents on there, well, um, more understanding. Right. But my next question with that is, what happens if a parent goes against teaching? One minute. What if they decide, you know what, I'm not going to do, you know, what you want to do, other than a, uh, the obvious, they're take your children. What retaliation, you know? Um, Aaron, it could be anything. It could be... Nothing. It could be retaliation. It could be a little retaliation. It could be, you know, it's just difficult to say. You mm. know, if you, if you want to protect people in this situation, you're going to have to give them more rights. You're going to have to make it harder mm. for them to take your child away. Okay, we're going to take another break right. right now. This is The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and When. We'll be back after the news and these messages. Mm. 